Yo, what is up, bros? I'm back with an update to the Great Patriotic War World Ablaze mod. For those of you who don't know, the World Ablaze mod is basically the Great Patriotic War mod, but set on a massive map. So the Conqueror's still in the process of getting stuff moved over, and he's tweaking it as he's moving it over, adding stuff to, like, the conquests and whatnot. In my description will be a link to the Conqueror's video where you can get the download link to this mod as well as all the change logs. So I'm not going to go over everything. Added three new conquests. 1943 Turning Tide. As always, let's grab Germany and take a look here. Play as any of the countries that were historically involved in the war at the date July 1943. Enjoy 20 plus events such as speeches, country switching sites and more contains an Italian surrender event. Take all the red circles and they will capitulate. Damn. Check out that sweet German aircraft carrier right there. So take Naples, Palermo and Rome and uh, the Italians peace out. It looks like. There's not many units in behind the front, is there? God, it would take you forever to get from here to there. That is a long ass journey. Oh, we got Lieb on the railgun. That is all you need. Holy shit, that was loud. I mean, I'm going to crank down the volume for you guys, but I think I nearly blew out an eardrum. The fear on a mouse tank. Oh, I guess. Hold on a sec. Those are new sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New sounds. Where did I see that at? Yeah, added new sounds for most units, tanks, infantry, planes, and anti-air, and ships. What does a ship sound like now? It is different. Nice mechanized sound. Tanks, we just heard that. Even the crabbers make that sound. Yeah, yeah. Infantry with probably a marching. Yep. Damn, those sounds are actually pretty sweet. What about firing? This is going to... Hold on a sec. Let's try a firing. I like the new sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... I want to hear that infantry attack sound. Sweet. What about rocket artillery? Can you get... Give me anything for that? Uh, tanks attacking? I don't think I attacked with a tank yet. Nice. Alright, next conquest. 1945 German in Sieg. Bros. Bros, bros. Is there another in Sieg in my future? It would be hard to deny. I mean, I've played every in Sieg up to this point. Okay, see, let's see what we've got here. More than 20 events mostly centered on Berlin in preparation for World War III contains a Japanese surrender event. Take all the red circles and they will capitulate. Once Berlin falls, the Soviet Union and their allies will declare war on the Western allies. There may also be something in Antarctica, a secret German base, perhaps. Uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, that's, um, they don't even have the flag of the German bros. Their, their own splinter off German faction, maybe. Let's see what we got here. This could be, you know what? I got to play it. We've got to throw down. I've played in every war game that I've came across an in Sieg. I've played it. I even tried the Hearts of Iron one with Germany and got com absolutely destroyed in it. I didn't even come close. It was so brutal. Never did beat it. You can't find too many people on YouTube that actually beat it. I mean, this was back in the day. It might have got easier. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to have to come through and play with Jeremy. Obviously, that is a must. 
Starless Sky up next. Let's see what we got here. More than 20 plus events featuring speeches, country switching sites, and more of the Japanese and Axis powers are not friendly towards each other. It will basically be Axis versus Allies versus Japan. Thick Germany. Holy, all right, look at this. Mexico's going off. They're going to gain back some of their lost territory. Damn, you know what? A challenge might be playing with the U.S. Playing with the U.S. might in Starless Sky might be as big as trying to play well most of this is just defense right through here might be as bad as trying to play Germany and Ninsig damn Japan got thick too yeah this may be a good US playthrough or how about Mexico can you turn on your allies? You can. What if we were Mexico and we just d declared on our allies and then just took over the US? A lot of interesting things can be done. All right, let's see what else, if there's anything. Like I said, I'm not gonna read through all of this. Looks like there's been new units added for a lot of different countries and a lot of different times. As I said, you can, uh, the, I'll provide the video link and just look at the description and that you can see all these. Um, yeah, I think that's probably all I want to cover. Oh, what is this? Okay, next I will focus on try, uh, tying loose ends by releasing a final update to the classic Great Patriotic War mod made on the old map, and then we'll fully continue with this mod. Damn, F in the chat for classic Great Patriotic War mod. It is fully moving on to the big map after the next update. No shit. Hold on, there was one other thing I wanted to check. There was the, um, the, the mission. What mission was it? Axis 6 Europe has been redone. Axis 6 Europa. Let's check it out. Um, What's different? I don't remember the old... I think there was more units, maybe? More German units? I don't actually even recall what this looked like before. Does it say anything else about it? No, it doesn't. Just says more missions coming soon. All right, bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will back here for our next upload. Peace, Romanati out.